Now, neither Augustine nor Anselm uh, was ever satisfied with a blind faith, which they considered to be a form of credulity that was not in any way virtuous. But rather, though both subscribe to the idea that in the final analysis, God is incomprehensible, namely, that we cannot contain in our finite minds or our finite intellect a total comprehensive understanding of God. Nevertheless, the God who is has revealed Himself to us with sufficient clarity, and particularly in the sacred scriptures, to, to such a degree that we can at least have an apprehensive knowledge of Him. And those who put their trust in God and their faith in God and the things of God should never be satisfied with a childish, immature understanding of God. Now, I mention that because we live again in a time that is one of the most anti-intellectual periods in Western uh, Christianity. That is, we are anti-mind, and it's become a virtue among Christians to embrace what is called a childlike faith. Now, of course, there is a point for a childlike faith insofar as, as a small child puts implicit trust in one who knows more than the child does, namely the parent, while they're very young at least, that doesn't last too long, of course that we as the children of God should have an implicit trust in our Heavenly Father, just as a young child has that kind of implicit trust in their earthly parents. But this concept of a childlike faith has come to mean to many people today what I would call, what Anselm would call, what Augustine would call, a childish faith. Now they say, I don't want to have to think about the content of my faith. That's a destructive thing that scholars get into. I'm just going to keep it as simple as I possibly can and not be engaged in any serious study of theology or the Word of God or anything else. I'm just going to keep it simple. Now, at that point, when we take that position, we sin. It's so far from being a virtue, it is a vice, according to the New Testament, because the New Testament tells us commands us that we are to be babes in evil, childlike in our sin, but in understanding. We are to be men, that is, we are to be adults. And as the author of Hebrews labors, that it is a sin to be satisfied with the milk, and we are commanded as we seek maturity in Christ to the diet of the meatier things of the faith. Now, this is the kind of thing that both Augustine and Anselm were jealous to communicate, that the content that God has revealed in His Scripture is content that was designed to be understood by His people, and that we must seek to gain as much understanding as we possibly can of that which God has provided for us. 